I like Matthew chapter 28, verse number 18. Then Jesus came to them and said, <laughs> What did he say? Read it together very loud. Want to go? All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. When was this authority given to him? After, was it before he died or after he resurrected? After he resurrected. So all authority has been given to me. All. All. Then verse 19. He said, therefore. Touch on the said, therefore. Go and make disciples of all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Therefore. Therefore. See. It, every authority is here. It's just like the day they swore in Bola Tinubu. The authority was taken away from Buhari and given to him immediately. And Buhari needed to disappear from the environment. Because two presidents cannot be on the same ground. They whisked him away. Before Tinubu arrived, as a rock, he had been carried away. Hallelujah. Before you go home today, whatever has been ruling you will have been taken away. So Jesus said, all authority is given to me now. Is given to me now. That is why he said, those who believe in me, in my name, they shall cast out devils. In my name, they shall lay hands on the sick and the sick are those who believe in me. Because my sacrifice and the authority that is given to me had given me a name that every knee must bow. Every knee must bow. Every knee must bow. Every knee must bow. From today, wherever you go, the name of Jesus will cause every knee to bow. So what do we do? How do we use this name? One, two, three. Used his name in prayer to God. Use his name in prayer to God. Jesus has given us the right to use the name when we go to the Father in prayer. Praise God. John chapter 16, verse 23 and 24. And in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, in that day, you will no longer ask me anything. I tell you the truth. Hey! My father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I tell you the truth. My father will give to you whatever you ask in my name. So the name of Jesus carries weight before the Father. That he will give us whatever we ask for. The name of Jesus is recognized in heaven to get things done. What do you want to do? Ask in the name of Jesus. The name gives you access to the Father. And access to the Father guarantees it to be done. It gives you access to God. And when you have access to God, it guarantees what you desire to be done. The name is a name that is recognized in heaven to get things done on the earth. When you say in Jesus' name, you are telling God, I recognize the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. And I am standing to ask. Based on covenant. Of the New Testament. I am accessing your promises. Based on the covenant. Of the New Testament. The name has potency of giving a Christian. Whatever he needs on earth. John chapter 14 verse 13. Whatever you ask in my name. This I will do that my father may be glorified in the son. Whatever you ask in my name. So, any prayer that is made without the name of Jesus is a waste of time. If you like, fast for 400 years. If you didn't ask in the name of Jesus, you have wasted your time. There is no way you can have things done, prayers answered without calling that name. Hallelujah. To call the name of Jesus is more than 100 years of fasting without his name. 
God cannot respect your fast to answer you. What is respected in the heavenly realm is the name. Amen. Now some religious people will tell you fast for 10 days, fast for 15 days, fast for 100 years. But if the name is not part of that fasting, it will not work. I'm not saying that fasting is bad though, but fasting without the name of Jesus is waste of energy. Don't stay on any mountain looking for power anywhere. The name, the, there's power in the name. Because people don't know this, Christians are pursuing power from place to place. Not knowing that the power is in the name. You see, those who know the power of the name of Jesus, they have things done very fast. Amen? Amen? They know that it is not my, my energy. It's the name of Jesus. See, even if you shed your blood, your blood has no value in heaven. Even if you shed the, name, the blood of your first son, that will not make God to answer you. Hello? Without the blood of Jesus, nobody will look at you. It's only at the name of Jesus. It's only at the name of Jesus. Some of us who know this, we rely on the name. Touch your say, I rely on that name. Say it again. Say, I rely on that name. Say, I rely on the name of Jesus. They say, go and bring goats. Go and bring cattle. Go and bring this one. Go and bring that one. Go and bring that one. Chicken. As blessed the man who says, chimpanzee. Or tolo tolo. Or dog fowl. Any blood you like shed, it will not work. There's only one name given among men that which we must be saved. And that is the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If somebody tell you, you need to sacrifice this sacrifice, I tell them, I am not waiting on my sacrifice. It's because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Is somebody following me here today? You can even annoy the Holy Spirit trying to trust another sacrifice. You can incur judgment and causes trying to pass through another sacrifice. Sometimes it's amazing how Christians can still visit rivers, shrines, valleys. How a Christian can see trust in voodoo powers. How Christians are trusting in all kinds of charms and the rest. When they have the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So you use the name in prayer. Number two. Use the name to destroy all the works of the devil. Use the name to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus has given us his name to exercise power. Over the devil. In John chapter. First John chapter 3 verse number 8. First John 3 8. The Bible tells us there. For this purpose the son of God. Was made manifest. That he might destroy the works. Of the devil. He who, he who does what is sinful. Is of the devil. Because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the son of God. Appeared was to destroy. The devil's work. To destroy the devil's work. And he died and rose again. So that the devil's work can be destroyed. How? So that he can distribute the name to all his people. And we can go to the various aspects of the earth. And destroy every devil's work. This morning by your prayers in the name of Jesus. Every devil's work in your family shall be destroyed. Wherever Satan is walking, you are going to use the name of Jesus to destroy it. The man we saw in the Bible, the Bible tells us that this man was born lame from his mother's womb and was 40 years old. For, for 40 years, he was born without legs. When Peter saw him, Peter knew that this is a demonic activity. This is a satanic affliction. This is a work of the devil. And he said, I have something that can destroy this work. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Hi. Sometimes God is disappointed in some people. You know why God is disappointed? You have so much challenges around you and you are not using the name. So much challenges. Are, God would have been disappointed in Peter that day and John. If they passed the man, they went and prayed and they passed again. After service and they are talking about the power of God and the crippled man was stand, sitting down there and God is looking at them. These people carry the thing where this man need for in two legs to come out but they hide them. They are afraid to speak. They are afraid to talk. You are having a shop. The shop is going down and you feel you are powerless. You are having a marriage. Your marriage is scattering. You cannot talk. 
you are having issues, sickness in your body, and you are allowing the sickness to kill you, you cannot use the name of Jesus. You are having all manners of issues in life, and the name is with you. What are you using the name for? The name Christian is not for decoration. It's for activity. It's for you to deal with every work of the devil and every force of darkness. To deal with it. To deal with it. To deal with it. To deal with it. Some of you may have to travel to your village and break the neck of that demonic agent sitting down there that is taking the life of everybody in that place. Hallelujah. They are killing everybody in your family. You are running away. No, sir. Silver and gold I don't have. I came with something here. If I be a man of God, if Jesus lives in me, let the name of Jesus do something here. Hello? Am I getting somebody angry in the spirit? Or you are still normal? You still want to go home and allow life to, to drift away without intervention. See, all that God wants you to have to succeed is already with you. Everything a Christian needs is encapsulated in the name of Jesus. Everything. Everything. Including two new legs that was given to this cripple. Including new legs. Everything is inside the name of Jesus. Unfortunately, many people have underrated the name. Oh, when you don't put value on that name, it does not work for you. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that everything you did is embedded in that name. Everything is embedded in that name. Everything is embedded in that name. Jesus. Do you know why I say so? I think I've shared this scripture with you already. John chapter 14 verse 13. I will do whatever you ask in my name. I will do whatever. Someone say whatever. Eh? What did he say? Whatever. Whatever including what you need now. Whatever, including what is the challenge in your life now. I will do whatever you ask in my name. I will do it. So that the son may be glorified in the father. Which means when God answer it, God is glorified by the use of the name of Jesus. God is glorified by the use of the name of Jesus. 